Hey, how's it going? How are you doing today? Been a while. Ever just think about that no matter what happens, Violet is left closer to the boiler when the bomb explodes. Today, we're gonna talk about Violet being, from what I see, from what I've kind of understand and seen, She's closest to the explosion when the bomb goes off. Now, I do not know exactly how physics work. You know, if the explosion was muffled downstairs since, you know, the exhaust was upstairs and maybe, the you know, it was closed and yeah. Or if Violet, in fact, received the biggest blow from the boom. And I might look like an idiot here since I really don't. I'm not sure how physics work in this scenario and what's more dangerous since, you know, they close the shits, and again, you know, up top is the opening, it's, I don't know what, to, yeah, so maybe up top the shockwave was bigger, bigger there, but anyway, so feel free, but yeah, so feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and discuss with each other, and I might, you know, I might bring up what you wrote in the video and show you a comment. I'm doing a follow-up video on the ranch vid where, you know, I'll take a look at the comments and talk about them and shit like that. But anyway, why I think she might receive the biggest boom is that no matter what, if you save Violet or Lewis, she stays at the same spot. And that worries me a bit. And when I say a bit, I mean a lot. <sighs> Let's talk about when you save Lou and Vice says, Fuck you, there's a bum. Mitch is dead. You just, just fucking go. Clem could have just replied there, Listen to me, man. Willie made the bomb. We read Mitch's notes, you stupid fucking fuck. Like, take two seconds, you know what I'm saying, to say that. And then maybe Vi could have tried to get Dizzy Minnie up. Because it don't look like Minnie's entirely out, you know. She got her eyes open and shit like that. And the scene where Minnie is shot, could make more or less sense, you know what I'm saying? Because I guess, you know, you could say, Vi don't want to get many options, you know, the fear of her bleeding out and shit like that. And helping Dizzy Mini up would have been, you know, wouldn't be much of us a risk. But again, you know what I'm saying? In one scenario, Vi knew for a fact that there was a bomb planted. So that's kind of dumb of her. And maybe they should have wrote that a little bit better. Maybe that's a potential plot hole, you know. Yeah. I mean, you could shut down that potential plot hole by saying, you know, Vi don't care if she dies at that moment or not. She just want to stay with that with, with Minnie. But still, even if there's potential plot holes or not, you know what I'm saying, or, it, or maybe it's not 100% deep thought of, you know what I'm saying, it seems that... Vi is closer to the explosion than everybody else when a bomb goes off. No matter what you do. Hmm. This worries me. So let me get into the possibilities, present the possibilities real quick that I can think of. Either she'll die because of an explosion. Or she'll be blind, lose a limb, or become deaf. Or maybe even become all of them. Maybe even become blind or deaf or whatever. And maybe... How much damage she takes is determinate if you save Lou or not. As a way, you know, to do her dirty like Lou so that, you know, she doesn't get out entirely unscathed to balance out shit type of deal. Because Lou had it way worse than Vi. Holy shit, holy. Ah. Or it could be just that they wanted to save on animation so they kept her in the same place i think this is the least likely because i don't think it would be that hard to put in a running circle for why you know because she could run in episode one episode three you know what i'm saying you know yeah so it wouldn't be that hard to rehash a little bit of animation and get her out of there you know what i'm saying or 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 maybe it is not that deep at all and Telltale slash Skybound didn't really think much when making this scene where she stays, where she stays, where she stays at the same spot no matter what. But this is The Walking Dead. This is the last episode of the final season. I don't think anybody is safe. 
and it would be a balancing thing to have her hurt, you know, more or less dependent on if you save Lou or not. Have choices matter a little bit more, you know, they mattered a lot, but because, like, in terms of consequences, loose, loose consequences way bigger than Violet, you know. You know, you not saving her is it's just that she hates you. It doesn't feel as big of a consequence, to be honest, in comparison to Louis getting his fucking tongue cut out. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Hey, but I'm, I'm just rambling, but anyway, let me summarize real quick. Vibe being near the explosion, no matter what you do, that worries me. I'm thinking maybe she'll lose a limb. Or get blind or deaf, or maybe it'll be a combination depending on your choices. Maybe what I'm thinking is she could get hurt more or less, and it would be determined on your choices. Why did she stay near the explosion no matter what? Clem could have told her. We got Mitch notes, and Willie made it. Minnie isn't fully unconscious, and I'm seeing it's like her, uh, her eyes open. And when you say Vi, she knows for a fact again that there's a bomb but she's still staying this shit worries me but that is my input now what about yours are you worried like me or do you feel like that ain't that deep what possible outcomes could you see from this scenario put your thoughts and discuss with each other in the comments down below and again you know the deal you. What is you?